If you've ever looked at your footage and thought, why doesn't this hit like pro level edits? This is how I fix that with color. In this video, I'll break down my 2025 workflow in Premiere Pro. What's up, it's Otto, and today I'm gonna be showing you how I color grade my videos step by step. From raw log footage to a cinematic color grade, that was hard to say, I'll walk you through the full process. Whether you're shooting Friday Night Lights or college highlights, this will definitely improve your workflow. If you're using my web pack, it's now time to add those in. I made sure they're flexible with all kinds of colors and whatever footage you guys have. Okay, so the first thing that I really like to do before even starting color grading is finding a good video that'll set a good example for other videos going forward. So for this one, I found this image that I took super nice to color grade. As you can see, I'll play the video really quick here. And I just think the colors look really nice. We have blues, reds, and I think we have a lot to work with for other upcoming clips. So I'm gonna go with this clip right here. We're gonna go adjustment layer here, and then it'll automatically fit to your Premiere Pro um, style. So I'm just gonna make it about the same thing. The reason I like adjustment layers is because I can turn it on and off depending on um, how I want my image to look. So I can kind of see the before and after in case I made, it, made any mistakes or I like the before image even more. Once I head into the creative tab, I'm gonna open my LUT pack here. These are all my off-season Pixix LUTs, which you guys can find in the link in the description for $20 makes editing a breeze. So I'm gonna go through here and kind of find some of the LUTs that I like best. I think I'm gonna go for clouded on this one just because there is a good amount of clouds. So as you can see, it almost makes the clouds too bright in the back where you can't really see what's going on and the blues look a little drowned out. So we, we have a lot to work with here. So. First off, I think we can move down the intensity. As you can see, that brings back a little bit of the color there. I like to keep mine always at around like 60, 40 to 60 range, just so that way the LUT isn't too much on your image. I think it could use a little bit of saturation. I'm gonna put it at 102. So we got the LUT at 60 intensity, and then these are my basic correction settings as of now. The most important part to any color grade, in my opinion, is the curve section. This is what I like to do. It's called an S curve, as a lot of other sports videographers know. Um, it's by adding one dot here in the middle, and then one dot at the bottom, and then one dot at the top. What this does is it kind of creates a little bit of sections that you can increase and decrease your highlights and the blacks in your image. So I'm gonna go a little bit down on the blacks just to add some contrast and then just slightly on the, sh on the highlights. Let's see, maybe I could even go a little more down. So that really brings out a lot of cool saturation in the image. Um, let's see what it looks like on and off. So yeah, to me that really looks nice, especially in the trees there in the back. That looks really nice in my opinion. And then I'm gonna go down to the hue and saturation section where I can increase the blues because I really like the blues on his jersey. I wanna make those saturated. That looks pretty good there. And then I also wanna increase the reds because he has a good amount of red on his jersey. Like that is a little too much. I might bring it down just a tad. Okay, that looks pretty solid to me. And then as we go down here, color wheels versus match, this is a little more advanced, so I'm gonna leave that out of this video, but if you guys want more details into this, we could get into it. I just think it's not really needed, especially when you're color grading standard picture profile videos just like this one. So I'm gonna turn that off. We also don't really need to play with HSL se secondary for standard picture profile videos just like this one. I think what would be pretty cool is if we added some a little more contrast towards the edges of the images so we can really focus on the athlete. I think that always looks nice. So I'm gonna go, let's see like, so when you do too much, it starts to get a little black around the edges and that is a little, it's almost like corny in my opinion. So I like to just go maybe negative three looks kind of nice to me and then we could feather that, that out to like 60. Yeah, to me that looks really nice. His skin tones are nice and tan. They're not like super crazy looking. So this looks like a good video to me. 
I think what's important is we play it through. I'll put it on full for you guys, just so we can fully get a look. Yeah, that looks really nice. So I'm gonna pause it right here where we have everything and I'm gonna go before and then this is the after. To me, this looks super nice. I really like that before and after and it really adds a nice stylized look. Some of you guys might not like it just because it drains out a little bit of the background image, but to me it just adds that nice contrast that in my opinion was really needed. So the best part about color grading just like this is that we already have the foundation with this adjustment layer. So I have a few other clips over here that I wanted to try out. Here's one that I got from Oregon. Here's one from my own high school. Another one from my own high school and then Oregon again. So I think let's try how this LUT, all we have to do is if you just hold option on your Mac or any other computer you have, it may be different. You could just drag the adjustment layer. I'm gonna do it just like that where it copies. And look at that. Straight out of just our color grade. Look how cool that makes it look. Do before and after. Wow. That really looks nice in my opinion. Straight out of, pretty much straight out of the box you could say, right? So I think that looks really nice, especially on the yellows. Adds a nice contrast and sharp look. Um, we could also, if we want, we could even sharpen it. Like we could go 15, that'll make it even sharper, which is just insane to me that you can make this even more sharp. It looks super cool. So as you guys can see, these adjustment layers play a big role in your color grading and make it so fast to just transfer a color grade from here right onto your next video. The LUTs I built are definitely designed for moments like these when you have a lot of action and stadiums are going crazy. I just feel like the colors work so well with light like this that it makes it so easy to just drag, drop the LUT right into your footage, and then boom, you got a very colorful look that is a lot different from any other videographer. Here's another video I have. Look how nice that looks. I'll do a quick before and after. It just adds a stylized look. Some of you guys may like it, some may not, but I think this adds a really professional image to your video, and it's one that I use across all my Instagram and TikTok pages. We also have another one. This is a little too dark in my opinion. What we could do is we could uh, decrease the vignette on the outside and that'll make it less dark, but it's also super contrasty and adds uh, a nice shallowness onto the player himself. Yeah, look at that, that is cool. I really like that look. And then the last one we got is one of Oregon here. I really like what it did to the greens, look at that. So this is a quick before and after. Yeah, such a beautiful image. Uh, turns kind of a standard picture to something that you would see on Instagram and looks overall way more professional. Okay, so now the final thing that I wanted to go over is for those shooting in C-Log 3. The prior three or five clips that I used were clips that I shot in standard picture profile. Didn't have to do too much to them, but this we have a C-Log 3 image right here. This is a video that I took at a Cal basketball game. It was a super sick dunk, but as you can see, the footage looks gray, so that way I had the most colors to work with in the end. So I'm gonna pause right here where it looks pretty sick. Yeah, let's just do like right here. So that way we have a good look at what we're color grading. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is head over to basic correction and use an input what. If you guys need an input what, you can find them all over the web. Uh, they're really easy to find. Uh, just look up a conversion what for a Rec 709. I'm gonna use one of mine. So this is Canon C-Log to Rec 709. So already this converts it pretty much a standard look, but still gives us the availability to use and alter those different colors in this video. So this is a great start already. Looks way better than that gray look that we had before. Um, but I want to add my own style to it. So. I'm gonna drag an adjustment layer to it, just like I did to the other ones. And then I'm going to apply one of my LUTs. So that gives it a very stylized look. I just applied one of my LUTs. As you guys can see, this looks wild. It's way oversaturated, too many highlights. 
So the first thing that I'm gonna do, like I did before, drop it down to 60, so that way it's not as crazy. So, I'm gonna play with the basic correction settings a little bit. I'm gonna move the highlights down to maybe negative 15. Um, that looks pretty good. Contrast already looks good. Let's see the shadows here. I might move shadows down negative five. And I think we're good on basic correction. This all looks good. I might sharpen it maybe by 20. Yeah, that looks pretty sharp. And then we're gonna head over here to the curves. So this is where we could really play with these curves here to give it our own look. And you guys, this is one of those things where you just gotta trust the process while editing because at first you're gonna be like, what, are, what am I doing? But um, it really will look good in the end. This is before, this is after. I feel like this is super cool. Maybe the yellows are a tad too much, so I might first off move the temperature negative 10 to give it more of a blue style that I like. And then I might go 95 saturation, lower the saturation a bit, and then focus on that yellow color that we're seeing so much of in this video. So I'm gonna go a little bit down on that. As you can see, that cuts out all the yellows in this image. Let's get a quick before and after now. The oranges look super great, yellows look good. I really like the colors in this image. Let's play it all the way through. Bang, boom. Yeah, that looks super nice to me. As you can see, everything's really well saturated. Here's a before and after. Wow, skin tones all look super natural and great too. I'm gonna go one more time, just cause I'm actually really proud of this color grade. Looks super nice. If this video helped you upgrade your video quality, do me a favor, hit that like button and subscribe for more creator tips. And if you want the exact LUTs that I used in this video, they're down in the description below for only $20. I appreciate you all for watching and go cook up something dope. See you guys next time. Peace.